The other day, Bioware officially announced Mass Effect's Legendary Edition, a remastered version of the Mass Effect trilogy. It was rumored for a couple of days that they were planning on announcing something, possibly Mass Effect related. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I am really worried that this remaster will be nothing more than a glorified package of free games with slight graphical improvements. I hope I am wrong. I suppose we will have to wait for more details. But what does this mean for a potential Knights of the Old Republic remake? I always thought that we would not see a full-fledged Knights of the Old Republic remake anytime soon, given the Old Republic MMO. Plus, Bioware wasn't involved in the second installment of the series, which I'm guessing has some implications, and Obsidian could demand a royalty fee. Though I have no clue if that is the case, perhaps it is not true, I'm not an expert on these matters. Still, if they were to remaster Knights of the Old Republic, they would probably only remaster the first game, initially. Though since the second game had a lot of its content cut, I understand why many people would rather see it get remastered over the first game. So, will we ever see a Knights of the Old Republic remake? I think that is the question we all have on our minds. So many people want this to happen. And obviously Lucasfilm along with Bioware is well aware of it. I am 100% positive they have considered remastering the game and discussed it at length, but they are being careful considering how to approach this. They could release the exact same game with slightly better graphics. That way they won't undermine the old Republic MMO, perhaps they could even promote the MMO somehow. Also, that way everything could still be considered as legends, not to mess with canon. I'm guessing this scenario is most likely. I'd much rather see a full-fledged new game though, a prequel or a sequel. I think that a prequel that delves deeper into the Mandalorian Wars could totally work and makes a lot of sense, given all the hype surrounding the Mando TV show. Even though it's a gap of thousands of years, it could tie in nicely and expand on the Mando culture. The songs of Eon's past tell of battles between Mandalore the Great and an order of sorcerers called Jedi. The biggest issue with all this is that some creatives might be reluctant to expand on characters such as Revan, since it limits their creative freedom significantly, even though the character itself is obviously immensely popular. Also, there is a danger of potential backlash. People look at such characters through the lenses of nostalgia, and will be very harsh on any changes made to the set characters that they personally are so fond of. Unfortunately, I do think that a new Knights of the Old Republic game is extremely unlikely, for now. Especially a sequel that could undermine the Old Republic MMO. We might see something few years down the line, once the player base for the Old Republic MMO dwindles and support for it gets dropped. Like I said, a prequel is much more likely exploring the character of young Revan. Until it happens, we won't see anything beyond mere nods and references like in the Rise of Skywalker visual dictionary. People seem to be really divided on whether they think Revan will be reintroduced into canon. Some even are outright against the very notion. Revan was canonized before as a male and I very much enjoyed what the Old Republic did with him with the Revan novel, not to found a shadow of Revan if I'm to be honest, but many prefer Revan to be female. And that is how they view him, or rather her, in their head canon, since they played as a female in the game. Again, that is why a game makes no sense as a medium, and why a prequel would make sense, because then we could decide if Revan is a male or a female, and everyone is happy. Well, scratch that, probably not everyone, but hey, you can never please everyone. I think that an on-screen adaptation of any kind, be it live-action or animated, will never happen in any way, shape or form. Well, maybe eventually after they do some testing to see how people react to a game or something else. I'd love to be wrong on this, since I'm one of those people that want to see Revan on screen, but I just don't see it happening. Since, again, when new creatives get involved, they much prefer to do their own thing rather than further explore narratives written by others, hence the upcoming The High Republic. Then again, Thrawn was used in Rebels, when the show's story required such a character, so who knows what the future holds. 
As a result, a whole set of brand new novels was written by the famed Timothy Zahn. And surely, this was not the last we have seen of Fran. Well, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and may the Force be with you, always. Alright, and do let me know in the comments if you think we will see Revan again in any way, shape or form in canon.